Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Summer Brooke, and today I thought that I would make a video about my flaws. Not all of my flaws, <laughs> but a few of them that, you know, bother me, that I'm sure other people can relate to. Um, there are a lot of people out there, when you go and look at Instagram, and they seem really perfect and really beautiful, and like they have everything together, but the truth is that they're not perfect. Of course they're beautiful, yes, but they even know that they're not perfect. And Instagram and social media, you know, you show your favorite parts of your life. Why would you show the Jerry Springer side of your life? You wouldn't, because <laughs> that's not what anybody wants in their lives or anything. Well, I mean, some people do want to watch that, but it's ridiculous. But anyway. That's besides the point. The point is that we're not all perfect. And today I just wanted to share how I'm imperfect. Um, so I let's just get right into it. So, I mean, first things first. Hmm. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I have really bad skin. See, I have really bad skin. I've had really bad skin since about the fourth grade. Um, I know now that it's from my diet. I ate really unhealthy as a child. Um, and I continue to eat unhealthy as an adult. Also, when I stress, it, I pick at my skin. I'm sure I'm not the only one. So that's, that's another flaw that I have that I pick at my skin when I'm stressed or I get irritated or something like anxious like happens and I don't even realize I'm doing it it's just it's like a coping mechanism so there's two right there um, you also can't necessarily tell but I don't have the ends of my eyebrows on either side I have to draw them on because when I was 15 um, there was this girl that I had a crush on and she had the prettiest eyebrows and they were perfect and thin and mine just weren't. So I came home from school one day and I grabbed my mom's tweezers and I tried my best to make them cute straight lines and I succeeded in plucking out every single end hair because it just wasn't going right. So now, still struggling with growing them back. There's three. Also, since I ate unhealthy for so long, I just I don't like the way my body looks. I'm sure a lot of people out there are gonna argue with me. They have my whole life. But I know that I wanna be fit and toned and healthy. And I'm not, but I'm working on it every single day. I'm working on it. I hadn't been working on it for years, but I'm working on it now. So I don't feel as self-conscious <laughs> about this, but I'm going to do my best to show you. All of my fat goes to my thighs in an unattractive way. It just skips my butt and goes right to my thighs. And it's the most annoying thing. And I don't even get a chest because of it. Like. What? Why doesn't any of it go to my chest? Ah. So there's another flaw. I have a very flat chest. <laughs> but yes, see? I have this, I have this, and I hate those things. And this is just not toned and tight. <sighs> but. I just have to keep working on it and I have to keep building muscle tone. So all of these flaws that I have, they're all fixable or I should say improvable. And I don't have any unrealistic ideas in mind. Those are the people that go and get plastic surgery and I don't have that. Um, I also don't like my mouth. That's another thing. My bottom lip is so tiny. 
And when I turn to the side, it just looks like I have like chin. I don't, can you? It just constantly looks like I'm sucking my bottom lip in or something. It drives me absolutely crazy. From the front, I guess it's fine, but I just wish I had beautiful lips that were super kissable and I just don't feel that way. But yeah, that is my video about my flaws and I encourage everyone to accept your flaws and look at how you can improve upon them because nothing's set in stone. You can do so many things that will make your life better, that will make your personal image better. If those things are causing you stress, depression, anxiety, don't keep ignoring it. Like, take care of it. Take care of yourself. Self-love is so important. I was so depressed and miserable for such a long time. Because of these things, they, they really made me feel like I wasn't worthy or that I couldn't get anywhere or just all kinds of stupid things that really don't make any sense. So yeah, just know that none of us are perfect. We all have our flaws, even people that you think are perfect. All those girls out there, if they take their makeup off, you can see all the details of their face. Like, and it's okay, you know? Makeup's fun and it hides our imperfections. No big deal. Just love yourselves. It's so important to love yourself and be your best friend. And I know it might sound hard to some of you out there, but just be patient with yourself and keep working every day at building that relationship with yourself. And you will be so surprised at how much it changes your world in such a positive way. So yeah, build a good foundation and love yourself. If you liked this video, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, please subscribe. <laughs> I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, so on my way to 400, if you want to help, that would be super awesome. Um, and share this with your friends. So I'm sure lots of people will need to hear it. I might even take my makeup off and show you what my face looks like. That might be the last scene of this video. So we'll see. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna be insecure. Don't be insecure. Be confident. You're more than your looks. You're more than the way you look right now. You have so much potential. Don't give up on yourself. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video.